Right, so gear selector boxes. Normally you see the wheel rotate as it goes into different positions. I'm um, just going to demonstrate what it is that goes wrong with them. What happens is this arm wears and it cuts grooves into the pin. You end up with this. But it's not being accurate because you see in there, that's worn out. So what I'm going to show you how to do is how to uh, fix this without buying a new pin or without buying a new arm. You used to be able to buy repair kits that would give you a new arm and a new, a new pin. But you still end up with the same problem because stuff wears. The second problem that you get is with this pin here which is tapered and taps through and it retains that arm there retains the arm. Now the problem here you'll see on this one see the movement? Now you can fix this as well by turning the arm around putting this the whole box in a vice and then using a the punch to tap this pin back in and that will tighten it up. I've got the gear selector box in the vice with soft jaws holding across here so it's in that way round so we're going to try punching this again. Hold the arm down. Give it a tap. Now we've got no movement. The only movement that you've got there now is the uh, movement of the whole rod inside. So that's tightened up. But occasionally if you tighten these too much you can end up splitting the arm. So it's a matter of striking a happy medium so to disassemble this the first thing you do is undo the screw it can be quite stiff to start with and this pin is the problem source because it ends up getting little grooves cut into it by the arm the problem is is that the pin is only supported on these two thin parts here so if we can make something that's going to support the arm down the full length which is a piece of metal that's going to be 7mm across with a 4.5mm hole in it then uh, we can weld it into this and rather than it being supported on just these two points it'll be supported down its full length How are we going to make our 4.5mm bit of tube? I'm going to start with a M8 Allen screw just as a spare piece of metal the reason I think an Allen screw is a good idea is because there's already an indent in the middle so the drill will find its way in to the centre. So, put a lube on there. What we have now is a section of steel tube with a four and a half mil hole in it. Now the pin itself can end up with little burrs on it so you can just clean it up a little bit. Okay so when you've done it right you cut it to the right length you should be able to file it, get all the burrs off and it should be a nice fit on there. Now you can feel you can see there's no wobble on there anymore so when we put this together we weld this in as a spacer that's going to be running on all that fresh material there. Okay so I've slotted that in the that piece of thread in the middle there and we're going to weld that into place now I've got to reassemble the gear selector box I'll put the spring on put that in there and put the arm into position let's get it all roughly in line put the pin down through So in third gear position, which is the last next to the last one on an EFL gearbox, this needs to be level with the gasket face, which it which it just about is there. So it's in the right position already. So what we can do now is quickly 
wax some welds in there and then we've repaired this box. We don't need a ton of weld on here, just a couple of little tacks. So. so with just a couple of welds from the top part of the arm and the bottom part onto the thread, we now have secured this tube inside. You can tighten the screw up. But if you chest now, there is no movement. It just selects beautifully. Also, we've tightened the arm up inside. So this gear selector box is ready to go back to use. And because the pin is supported down its full length, it's not going to wear as quickly. You need to take, you need to unscrew it and put some a good layer of grease in there. Make sure there's no burrs inside. Maybe you, you might need to re-drill it, perhaps with a four and a half mil drill, just to make sure it. It's nice and smooth inside. But that now is a fully usable gear selector box.